Assalamu alaikum. Uh, hi everyone. So in this video, I will be showing you on how to answer the question on resident status for tax 3267. Okay, um, this time around, I will be discussing with you uh, the question from December 2019 and also December 2018. And I'm going to start with December 2019 first okay so you may take a look at your past year examination question that you have with you uh, you can download it from our upper uh, uh, pita okay so the question said that mr takenoichi a japanese commenced an employment in malaysia in a malaysian company and he was a tax resident in malaysia for the year 2013 for the year of assessment 2013 and 2014. His period of stay in Malaysia from year 2015 onwards are shown below. So you have to be very careful here with this um, question because most of the time students tend to uh, forgot, forget about students tend to forget about the information that they have given us just now. Where Mr. Takenuichi, he was a resident in year 2013 and also 2014. This information is very important because if you can still remember, okay, before we uh, upper, look at the question, uh, let's just recap or upper, uh, recall all the sections that we have. Okay, under section 71A, an individual will be considered to be a resident in Malaysia if the number of stay in that particular year, untuk satu tahun tu eh, daripada 1st January until 31st December, he must be in Malaysia for at least 182 days. 182 hari, okay, minimum. Okay, more than that, it will be much better. Kalau that person under section 71A, dia tak jadi resident. So, what we need to do is that kita check pula bawah 71B. Bawah section 71B. Under section 71B, dia kata that person will be a resident in Malaysia if ada dua condition here. The first one is that the year in question tu, he must, uh, they stay in Malaysia. They stay in Malaysia tapi less than 182 days. They just mentioned about less than 182 days but they did not mention about the minimum of minimum number of days that individual need to be present in Malaysia. So, kalau dia stay for one day pun dah cukup. For one day is enough. Okay. And secondly, uh, the year in question tu, contoh year 2020, the year in question, YQ stand for year in question, we can link by, it can be link by or link to. Okay, yang ni kalau link by patah balik dengan previous year 2019, yang ni nak link to dengan next year would be 2021. So what happen, bila dia link, tahun yang link ni mesti dapat minimum 182 days. Yang ni pun sama tahun yang dia nak link tu tahun ni mesti dapat at least 182 days. Dan period ni dia kena bercantum dengan period ni. Tak boleh putus. Yang ni pun tak boleh putus. Dia mesti consequence, uh, consequently. Tapi what happen kalau terputus? Kalau terputus maksudnya that person during this period he was not present in Malaysia. Ada dalam time ni yang daripada tahun uh, 2019 yang bercantum ni 1 Januari 2020 yang ni 31 Disember uh, 2019 boleh ok tapi dia mesti jatuh bawah kategori permitted temporary absent and this permitted temporary absent there are three condition that will be entitled as temporary absent permitted temporary absent the first one due to work related work matter disebabkan bekerja secondly because of ill health siapa punya ill health uh, that person individu tu dia punya spouse ataupun dia punya parents ataupun dia punya children these are the group of people that we will call it sebagai immediate family member okay so this is just uh, apa macam to to refresh balik lah okay but I have covered the quite lengthy dalam saya punya previous video so afterwards we have section 71c under section 71c that person will be a resident in Malaysia if year in question ni katalah year 2020 syar 2020 syarat dia ada dua yang first kali dia mesti stay in Malaysia at least 90 days lepas tu pula 
three out of four uh, immediate preceding year, immediate preceding year of assessment, mestilah sama ada dia jadi resident ataupun stay in Malaysia for at least 90 days. Okay, so katakanlah year 2020, kita tengoklah 2019, 2018, 2017 and also 2016. Syarat dia the first one, tahun ni mesti stay in Malaysia at least 90 day. Lepas tu, the previous three semester, three out of four. Tiga daripada empat yang diperlukan. Sama ada jadi resident, resident ataupun stay in Malaysia at least 90 days. Okay, uh, kalau ni. Itu je, dia nak 3 out of 4. Lepas tu, finally, we have section 71D. Under section 71D, that person will be a resident in Malaysia. Yang ni je, the only section yang tak requires that individual to be present in Malaysia in that year. That individual will be a resident, automatically dia akan jadi resident kalau year in question, assuming is year 2020. So, dia kata apa? If Three immediate preceding year, three immediate preceding year, 2019, 18 and 17, yang ni mestilah resident semua ni, immediate following year, 2021 is also resident. In this case, dia juga automatically akan jadi resident. Okay, so hopefully awak boleh ingat eh, yang ni. Uh, now, kita apa... Tengok balik for this question. So, untuk this question, dia kata, this is the period of stay of Encik Takenuechi in Malaysia. Uh, 2013, they're resident. 2014, they're resident. So, now they are talking about 2015. So, 2015, dia duduk daripada apa? 1st January until 31st March of 2015. And then, they left Malaysia. We don't know why they tak dekat Malaysia. Suddenly, on the... Uh, 6 of September 2015 uh, remember this, ini 2015 this is also 2015 they stay sampai 30th of April 2016 and then uh, they left Malaysia, lepas tu dia ada daripada 1st January 2018 until 15th of January 2018 but here you have to look at the notes, dia kata notes number 1 what happened from the 16th of January they stay kat Malaysia sampai ni tadi Sampai 15 January 2018. So, what happened on the 16th of January? Uh, dia kata sini, um, from 16th of January until 31st January 2018, he went for a vacation in Vietnam. Vacation boleh. Yang ni yang kita panggil the third, uh, permitted temporary absent kan ada three reason. Tadi work related, uh, ill health, ill health dan satu lagi ialah social visit. Uh, social visit tapi maksimum cuma berapa hari je? The maximum is 14 days. Okay, sekarang ni kita tengok. Maximum ialah 14 days. Dia stay sana daripada 31 Januari hingga 16 Januari. And I, as I said earlier, Kalau awak tolak macam ni, awak tolak ni, awak kena tambah balik satu. Okay, you have to add back satu. Katakan kita tambah balik satu. So, kat sini kita ada apa? Uh, kiranya 16 tolak, tam, negative 16 ni kita tolak 15 je lah senang. Eh, kita kira, okay. Tolak 15. Kenapa saya dapat tolak 15 padahal dia duduk sini 16? Sebab sepatutnya... Sepatutnya dia ialah 31 tolak 16 tambah 1. So, saya shortcut jadikan 31 tolak 15. So, uh, 6, 16 hari. So, the social visit here is 16 day which is exit 14 hari. So, yang ini tak dapat status permitted temporary absent. So, dia tak boleh consider. 16 hari ni cannot be considered for section 71B. Okay, dia tak dapat status tu. Uh, berapa hari tadi? 16? 16 days. Okay. Uh, and then, dia imbat, patah balik kat Malaysia bila 15 of February until 28th of April 2018. Note number 2, it says that from 25th of April, okay, here. He stayed in Malaysia since uh, 1st February until 24th of February. What happened on the 25th of February? Until 17 January 2019, he went back to his country to look after his father who was suffering from Parkinson's disease. Okay, so 
can this be considered as temporary absent? Yes, it is. Inilah permitted temporary absent. Okay, sebab due to ill health. The first two reasons, dia tak ada limit for how many days. Okay, because this is his father yang sakit. Immediate family member. So, what you need to do is that, nanti awak kena kira lah. Berapa hari daripada 25 hari bulan 4, 2018 sehingga 14 Januari 2019. This is a permitted temporary absence punya period. We are going to kira nanti. And then, finally, dia balik-balik kat Malaysia pada 15 uh, Januari. Uh, ini tengok ah. Uh, dia immediately tau. Dia jaga bapak dia dari sampai 14 Januari, 15 Januari dia masuk. Kena ingat eh, in order to be a permitted temporary absent tu, ini tempoh permitted temporary absent. Dia sebelum uh, se uh, sebelum dan selepas tu dia mesti kena betul-betul ada kat Malaysia. Yang ni dia tak ada kat Malaysia. Dia jadi permitted temporary absent. Tapi dengan syarat, immediately after bercantum ni, dia mesti ada kat Malaysia. Kalau benda ni tak ada pun, dia terputus lah. Tak jadilah permitted temporary absent tu. Okay. Uh, dia kata 15 January 2019. Dia kata apa? From 1st August 2019 onwards, he left Malaysia permanently. So, dia stay in Malaysia until 31st of July. What happened on the 1st of August 2019, he left Malaysia. Okay, so kita baca apa requirement of the question. The question wants you to determine the resident status of Mr. Takenoechi uh, for the year of assessment 2015 until 2019. And for this uh, resident status question, the total mark would be 9 marks. Okay, banyak juga lah ya. 9 marks. So, jadi kita akan buat sini. Uh, kita akan buat uh, on how we are going to answer the question. So, what happened here? Saya akan padam balik raya ni eh, because it looks so messy. Alright. <coughs> uh, yang ini dia bukan permitted temporary absent. This one is permitted temporary absent kan? So, yang awak buat dulu first. Uh, saya tak berapa nampak ni nanti. Sekejap ya. Eh. I lock this item so. Tak apa Okay uh, So kita tengok uh, First tahun yang ada ialah 2015 right So what you need to do is that Allahu Akbar Sorry Let me just undo it uh, Ada ada soalan ada Ya kan soalan dah terhilang tadi Okay Sekejap Nak drag dia ke bawah sikit je Okay Okay here You're going This is how you're supposed to answer the question You write down the year of assessment first So this is the year of assessment 2015 and let's take a look at The period of stay Dia punya period of stay Tengok lah nanti macam mana saya buat eh, Period of stay ni Uh, dia stay daripada 1 Januari hingga 31 Mac So awak pun tulis lah 1 Januari until 31st of March March tu bulan 3 ya Okay Lepas tu dia left Malaysia and then dia datang balik Dia datang balik 6 September sampai 30th of April 2016 So here awak tengok macam yang saya buat 6 September saya akan tulis macam ni 6 September until 31st uh, 30th of April 2016 kan tapi kita just buat untuk year 2015 so kita akan drag sampai 31 hari bulan 12 saja so how about yang ni dia duduk Malaysia sampai 30 April so yang dia duduk Malaysia sampai 30 April yang ni dah masuk year 2016 maknanya in year 2016 on the 1st of January dia dah ada kat Malaysia sampai 30th April boleh faham eh? macam mana saya tulis ni? Okay. Because it says that here. Awak tengok kat sini. Dia ada kat Malaysia daripada 6 September 2015. Sampai 30 April uh, April 2016. So macam mana kita tulis yang tu? Awak buat macam yang saya tulis kat sini. Okay. Awak tulis 2015 dia stay daripada uh, uh, 6 September 
Dia duduk sampai 31 Disember Kenapa tak boleh tulis 30 April ni kat sini No you can't Sebab 30 April ni tarikh untuk 2016 Okay Remember when we want to count the number of days Kita just nak kira untuk that particular of year je Kita tak akan mix up Okay And sekarang ni kita tengok the next one Period yang seterusnya Uh, okay, this day uh, 2018 Meaning to say 2017 he was not in Malaysia at all Kan? So awak tulis lah kat sini 2017 2017 period of stay tak ada Betul kan? Okay, kenapa sini mana ada 2017? 15, 16, 18 terus Okay, so now kita tengok 2018 pula This day starting from 1st January until 15th of January 2018 1st hingga 15th So awak masuk year 2018 Awak buat 1st January until 15th of January But kita ada tadi notes Okay, notes tu kata Dia start daripada bila ni? Daripada 16 January kan? From 16 of January until 31st of January. Tapi yang ni tadi 16 days. Vacation. So this is not a permitted temporary absence. Because they has exceeded the number of days allowed which is 14 hari saja. Maximum patut 14 hari. So yang ni bukan permitted temporary absence. So bila dia bukan permitted temporary absence, you do not have to tulis kat sini. Tak payah tulis. Sebab yang kita akan tulis ni ialah period of stay in Malaysia. Yang dia stay in Malaysia saja, Okay So tengok 2018 ada apa lagi uh, Lepas tu dia masuk balik Malaysia bila uh, Dia masuk balik Malaysia uh, 15 Februari Eh sorry 15 pula uh, 1st January 2018 Until 21st of April 2018 1 Februari hingga 24 April Lepas tu dia bercantum dengan period ni Ni dia sambung, dia balik Japan sebab dia took care of his uh, father yang kena Parkinson disease and ayah dia ialah immediate family member. So, this is a permitted temporary absence. So, what you need to do now, kita tulis kat sini. Year 2018, dia duduk daripada apa tadi? 1 satu satu Februari kan? 1 Februari sehingga uh, 24 April. 24 April. Yang ni dia betul-betul duduk. Lepas tu ada satu lagi dia tak duduk betul. Ha, tapi he was not present in Malaysia. But by virtue of section 71B, kita consider dia to be deemed in Malaysia. Tapi untuk applicable section 71B saja. Iaitu dia stay daripada 25 April sampai 14 Januari 2019. Yang ini kita akan tulis macam ni. Daripada 25th of April sampai 31st December 2018 Yang ni kita tulis permitted temporary absent Masuk pula year 2019 Year 2019 akan start dengan 1 Januari Sebab dia stay kat situ kan Sampai bila? Saya dah lupa lah Allah Akbar Sampai bila? Sampai 14 Januari Tapi yang ni permitted temporary absence Sampai 14 Januari Okay So until 14 of January This is permitted temporary absence So now let's take a look at uh, soalan tu lagi Apa jadi pada year 2019 ni uh, Okay uh, Lepas tu dia sambung stay Okay, dia stay uh, daripada 15 Januari sehingga 31 Julai. 15 Januari hingga 31 Julai. Lima belas of January until 30, uh, July 31st. Okay, until 31st of uh, Julai. Okay, 31st of Julai. So, ini yang kita buat dulu. Kalau awak tengok saya punya step ah, my first step would be uh, awak uh, prepare the column. Okay, you should have uh, this column dulu. Semua yang saya ada kat column ni, semuanya awak mesti ada. So, kita akan fill up column yang ni dulu, number 1 and then kita akan buat yang ni number 2. List down sampai habis. Dah list down sampai habis, baru kita akan start kira number of days. So, you're going to start counting the number of days. 
we are going to start with this one. Okay, dia ada 1 Januari until 31 March. So, Januari ada berapa hari? 31 hari. Lepas tu February. This is year 2015. 2015 is not a leap. Ya, yeah, dia bukan leap year. So, dia ada berapa je? 28 days. Followed by March. March 31 days. So, all together awak dapat berapa ni? 6, uh, 8, 90 hari. So, this is 90 days. Yang ni 90 days. Lepas tu, dia stay pula lagi kat Malaysia bila? Daripada 6 September. September ni berapa hari bulan? September 30 kan? September 30 hari bulan. Dia start daripada 6. Ingat saya kata kalau awak tolak 6, awak kena tambah balik sa 1. So, it will be much easier kalau kita buat terus tolak li 5. 6 tambah 1 eh. Okay, so jadi berapa ini? 25 days. So, September, bulan September, dia duduk for uh, apa nama? 25 days. Bulan Oktober, dia duduk for 31 days. Bulan November, he stay for 30 days. Bulan December, ni sebab dia stay sampai December ni, dia stay for 31 days. So, all together berapa hari ni? Cuba campur. 25, 25 plus uh, 92 eh. 92. So, kita ada 117. Awak pun tulis last ni. 1, 1, 7. So, what you need to do next, kena combinekan campur sekali semua. So, awak akan dapat 207 days. 207 days. Don't bother to answer benda-benda yang kat sini lagi. Jangan jawab ni. Kita settlekan kolom number 3 ni dulu. Okay. I'm showing you the step on how to answer resident status ni soalan. Okay, now let's take a look at year 2016. Year 2016, dia ada single period je. Dia duduk untuk, ini yang kita panggil multiple period. Dia ada lebih daripada satu tempoh. Tapi dalam satu YA juga, satu tahun juga ya. Yeah. Okay, dia duduk daripada January until April. So, kita tengok January 2016. First of all, check eh. 2016 whether it's a leap year atau tidak. Nak tahu dia leap year or not. I will have to divide it with 4 and you are going to get 504 number bulat. Eh? So, this is a leap year. So, you have here bulan Januari 31 days, bulan Februari 29 days because it's a leap year. Bulan March is 31 day and April is actually 30 days. Okay, so kita campur sini 31, campur... <coughs> Awak oh, dapat berapa? 121 days eh? Okay, so awak akan tulis sini 121 days. Okay, tulis 121 days. Uh, <coughs> Lepas tu, for year 2017, he was not present in Malaysia at all. So, tak ada number of days yang dia dekat Malaysia. For 2018, uh, let's do the counting together. Tak payah check dah lah whether it's a leap year or not. Because leap year it will only happen um, 4 kali. So, tak tahun sekali. So, ini dah leap year. Ni 1, 2, 3. So, confirm all these three bukan leap year. Yang 17, 18, 19 is not a leap year. So, tengok lah daripada uh, 1 Januari until 15 of Januari. So, awak ambil apa? 15 tolak 1. Uh, 15 tolak 1. Tambah balik 1. So, awak akan dapat berapa? 15 hari lah. Sebab dia duduk daripada 1 Januari sampai 15 Januari. Dia duduk for 15 days lah. Okay. Ha, kalau awak tak tolak, uh, awak tak tambah. Awak tolak je satu, awak tak tambah satu, awak akan dapat 14 hari. It's not 14 hari eh. Kita stay daripada 1st January until 15 January. It will be 15 days. That's why you need to tambah balik satu. Lepas tu dia stay daripada 1st um, February. So, February ada berapa hari? Ada 28 days. Uh, March, 31 days. Uh, macam mana dengan bulan April? Bulan April dia duduk daripada awal bulan sampai 24th of April. So, maksudnya dia ada 24 days. So, period ni ada berapa hari semua? <coughs> so, ada 83 hari. Ni 83 hari. Alright. How about the apa ni permitted temporary absent? Ingat eh, we have to do it for year by year. Tak boleh combine tahun. Kena buat asing tahun ya. Awak tak boleh campur tahun tu. So sekarang ni uh, kita akan eh tadi apa yang saya baca?
83 days and just now okay 83 days all right uh, sekarang ni kita tengok yang untuk permitted temporary absence sebenarnya untuk kira ni ini je yang kita akan kira okay 83 campur 15 hari will be 98 days ini 98 days permitted temporary absence ni awak akan kira juga tapi dia tak will not be included in the number of day yang dia present sebab yang ni applicable untuk semua section tapi permitted temporary absence is only apa uh, applicable untuk section 71b okey sekarang kita try kira tempoh untuk permitted temporary absence yang first ni dia stay daripada 25 bulan 4 so bulan 4 ya bulan, bulan April bulan April ada 3 berapa hari ya 30 30 hari 30 hari tapi tolak 25 uh, tolak 25 tambah 1 so tolak 24 je ya tolak 24 so awak dapat berapa ni uh, 16 eh, eh 16 pula siapa asyik 6 eh teranya saya kira ok 6 hari uh, right 6 hari lepas tu uh, ini bulan April ini April we have May bulan May 31 days ok why is not moving oh stop on azim ok May dia 31 day lepas tu Jul, uh, uh, June 30 days July 31 day August 31 day uh, September 30 days uh, October 31 days November 30 days December 31 days sebab dia stay permitted temporary absent tu sampai ni eh. so awak combine ni semua berapa dapat ok cuba campur we are going to get 261 dapat 261 kan ok so dekat sini saya dah tak cukup ruang awak tulis kat bawah ni bawah 98 ni but it must be in the same call, uh, in the same row mesti duduk dalam row yang 2018 juga awak buat bulat ke awak put it in bracket awak buat dalam bracket 261 yang ni yang PTA tadi tu ok tapi dia tak boleh masuk yang dalam 2019 ni lah dia must be in year 2018 saya tak 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 cukup column ah ok maybe what i can do is that saya move it here kat bawah ni 2019 ni saya move kat sini Two thousand nineteen, dia stay daripada 1 Januari sampai 14 1 ini PTA ya eh? lepas tu we have uh, 15 Januari until 31st of July ok yang ni dia stay betul so uh, yang ni saya padam sebab saya jadikan dia 2018 juga punya column ok uh, this is 98 days uh, lepas tu kita ada apa tadi PTA uh, PTA ni sama dengan 261 day 261 day ni kita put dalam bracket Okay, dia will not be included kat dalam ni Tak akan masuk Kita just record dia macam ni saja. Okay, yang tu 2018 now Tengok 2000, apa nama, 19 2019 we started with apa PTA juga Permitted temporary absence of 14 days So 14 days ni pun dah taruh dalam bracket And then he was in Malaysia since 15 Januari Until 31 of July So kita kira untuk bulan Januari ada 31 hari Tolak 15 campur 1 maksudnya tolak 14. So berapa hari dapat? Tujuh belas hari. Januari tujuh belas hari. Februari dua puluh lapan hari. Uh, March thirty one days. April thirty days. Uh, lepas April apa? May. May thirty one day. Uh, June thirty days. July is 31 day So all together kita campur 17 campur 31 campur uh, 61 campur 61 Ya kan saya kira 170 Let me count it again 